that's not the way I wanted that to play out. We gotta get the Stuka somewhere safe. There is nowhere safe though. Uh, we do have some AA capability down here, so let's take advantage of that. This one will go to full strength, and the fighter will also come down here to protect. Uh, we could lose the Stuka for that. Hmm. Okay, shit happens, I guess. We got two fighters coming up down here. Alright, let's continue to move forward here. No enemies in sight. Take a shot on that one. And on that one. So the enemy artillery has of course replenished back to full. We get just reveal some Soviet infantry over here. Let's make sure that we take out the SU-85 with the uh, Stuk. And... Move these guys up here, take that shot. How do we do this smart way? We have to go down this way first. Take them out. Panzer 4 takes a shot. fire and let's see what they have in Malin we'll take the panther down and take the town yeah I can't get that shot in okay let's just bring them down here then just so that they won't get too far away in case they move south the Mada will Come up. Come. Where will it go? Here. Okay. So, in the center here, the Nashorn survived. Um. So I think the tiger will do this. Then we'll move in with the infantry. And it can't go into the uh, pine woods, so it would have to go uh, into the river if it wants to survive that. Let's just get some points on the T-34 and replenish these guys. these guys forward. In the south, <clears throat> uh, I want to aim for taking out the IS-1 as a priority. I guess we can do it this way. Stook. And then come down this way. KV. Hmm. Okay, so what if you move this guy away? Check a shot with the AT gun that moves it out of position. 
and then use the infantry to follow up on that and even though it survives we still have the uh, armored car to try and finish it off. Yes, captured! We seized the number of intact KV-1 tanks, which are now put into service near Sidomir. There we go. Let's move it forward and replenish it up to 8. Okay, so we still have some enemy units here. They're gonna get hit by the artillery, I think. And the AT gun. And the infantry. And then we still have the Panzer IV to do some damage on the enemy infantry here and push them out of the way. These guys will replenish. Oh, I still have this one. Go into the pine woods and take a shot here. Okay, now I could lose the Stuka, we're gonna have to wait and see what they will do, Soviet turn 9. Enemy artillery fires on the Tiger, takes it down to 8, enemy artillery in the north fires at the Panzer 4. Some mortar fire. The enemy has run out of steam in the south. The enemy fighter does not reach my Stuka. At least one of them doesn't, but the other one does. And the Stuka just survives with one point. Oh, that was close. Too close for comfort, I would say. In the south, some more infantry attacks. But looks like they've run out of steam. Okay, they're pushing around the tiger. I think the tiger will make that. The T60 tries to move into the river. Still surrounded. Fresh infantry arrives in the north. They have a lot of those. Trading shots. And even more uh, arriving in the north. There's also some engineers pushing back my infantry. More arriving in the far north. Also trading shots there. And even more arriving. So we're gonna have to pull the SS back, it looks like. Or at least engage up there somehow. Okay. Um, so the artillery will fire on this guy. Bring the SS back and take a shot. And then replenish these guys. They should be able to hold that line. Um, okay, coming down here, the Stuka will land, obviously. And the fighter will get into the air, but do I move it and where do I move it? Yeah, let's just take it up here and take a clean shot. Take another clean shot. Let's take it out. So the AA guns will now prove useful. The remaining fighter will finish that off. Alright, so the fresh two fighters are gone. That did take some work though. Okay. Do 
There's a T60 in here. The Nash one could do some revenging here. Almost takes it out. Well, let's just finish it off. Burning steel. Soviet tank losses in this area are so heavy that the enemy is running out of experienced tank crews. Follow up on that. So I think we'll just, uh, let's move out of range of the enemy artillery. There's no need to stay in there and just take, take all the punishment. So yeah, I'm gonna move the tiger back here. And we'll do this. And this. Okay, so we're keeping the line fine. So they went over here to the bridge. Let's get this one back to full. So how do we get to that artillery? Um, the stalk is still here. We can see nothing. Artillery cannot reach anything. So let's get that forward. The stew though, we can get that forward to here. Take a shot. Get these guys back to here. Get the panda in action. Okay, so. I could reach it with the Panzer, but I will be encircled if I do. Uh, because nothing can go in here. Unless I push these guys back, of course. Which is possible. It's definitely possible. So let's... Um, let's do this. Let's take this shot so that the enemy artillery will not be a big hassle anymore. And then we can come forward and push these guys out of the way. So that we will not get encircled. Um, these guys will just go forward and replenish. And then we'll take these guys into the town down here. And we could kill them potentially with a mortar fire, but no. There's still the Stuk though. Let's bring that up to here. Oh, we got guys in the water. No, let's take this shot. There's also an AT gun, so let's just bring it forward. Okay, these guys have not moved. Uh, they're actually in a pretty good position here. They can stop enemies from advancing on us. We should expect enemy movement up here though. So I'm gonna take the martyr back and replenish these guys where they stand. In the south. It seems like we have much less resistance than we had before. There could be more units in the back here, but uh, let's just focus on the guys in front. Alright, I'll prioritize taking out this T-34. Moving in behind it. And then we move around these guys. And there's just nothing they can do about it. Uh, except that I don't have enough. Yeah, these guys can finish them up. Okay. There we go.
Bring up these guys. Follow up with the Stook. And if we are bold, and I think we are, we'll follow up with these guys just to take them out. Take a shot down here. Alright. So things are looking pretty good down here. Okay, let's uh let's get the KVs forward in the south. Down to 129 points now, and I need to replenish the Stuka as well. Okay, let's see. Any artillery fires in the north? No damage. Some uh, light mortar fire in the center? No damage. Some more moving, movement in the center. They have uh, engineers moving out of the river and replenishing. Got a couple of fresh units in this area as well. Uh, move, they're moving back in the north though. Okay, looks like they're retreating back to Ivankov. That will leave the artillery vulnerable and I will be able to take it out in the coming turn. So they got nothing standing in my way there now. In the north, fresh infantry arrives across the bridge, attacking the stoop. You can see this now, actually causing three damage to the Stuk. Engineers will do the same, but no damage from them. In the far north, they're trying to move around my units. I will encircle them. And a fresh T-34 arrives in the south. Along with a depleted T-34. Okay. Commander enlisted, Hans Valentin Huber. A new commander is available and can be attached to one of our units. Let's see, he's plus two defense against land and plus two defense against mechanized. So I think we'll put him. I think we have one in the Panther. Yeah. So he's gonna go in one of the T. Uh, one in, in one of the Panzer fours. It could be this one. Okay. And da, 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 let's see. So how much is this gonna cost? 38 for elite, 25 for non-elite. Let's keep it elite. That's 38 points. Back to six. And I think that my fighters are free in the sky now. Let's do do, 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 do. Uh, first I'll go there and I'm not attacking this turn because they will be out of supply so we're just gonna do this and then instead I'm gonna bomb these guys okay let's do this attack here I think we'll just hold the martyr here just to be safe. Now, so they have this heavy infantry. It's the only thing holding me back right now. So let's get that some artillery fire. Priority is to take out the artillery. Which we can do with the Panzer IV. I'm sure there is enemy infantry in Ivankov, so I'm not going up there. I am, however, taking the Stuk out of the way. Replenish that to nine, get some heavy infantry forward, and push them back this way. Get the AT gun up behind them, replenish these guys. And we still have the Panther. 
So let's bring them over here. Nothing to see. Get the panther over here. Take out these guys. Okay, the stalk. Let's start bringing it south so we can see what's going on down here. Ah, uh, that's the enemy bomber. It's just stationary there. Can we reach that? Yes. Yeah, get that out of the way. And I think we'll just keep the fighters tight around here. Do some stray runs on the artillery piece. No damage though. Too well dug in to cause any damage to them. Okay, we got the armored car. Move that over there. Replenish these guys. Let's try and get the artillery a bit more forward. Attack there. Let's try and keep the tiger out of the way. So it can get back to full operational state. Move the T-34 forward. That was, that was probably not a good idea. Oh, I can move out of the range <laughs> of the artillery. Get these guys back to full. Can I attack with this one? Potentially, yeah. If I take out the T-34, maybe the KVs can get through. No. So let's just get the KV down here. And instead move the Panzer IV up. Take the shot. And they're not budging. Okay, so we're gonna do this. And maybe the infantry can come forward and finish them off. No, yeah, they will survive. Okay. Okay. Extreme south. Bring some infantry forward. We got vision on some heavy infantry trying to get away over there. Ah, I should have taken the Stug up this way. Okay, let's try with the armored car. No. And then the Stug will finish them off. Okay, move over here, replenish. So we'll stay. Okay, I think that's uh, pretty much it. The Nash Horn, I think we'll just uh, leave it there for this turn. I'm starting to run out of points, so um, I will be reluctant to replenish non core units from this point on. If there's no need for it, I will not replenish it. Soviet turn 11, almost halfway through. T-34 returns to Kiev, the one with one strength point. I think you saw that, yes. And the offensive has slowly started, and they're sending some fresh infantry forward though. Still have a few left. The guys in the extreme north are trying to get out of the pocket, you can see there. Some mortar fire. More mortar fire. Actually one damage from that. And so they're still pretty strong in here. They have some strong infantry left in the center. But not in the north. Let's get the Stuka back to full. That's that's a priority. 
up here. The SS will chase these guys down, while the others will chase these guys. We could even bring up the martyr to finish quicker. Like that. Okay, over here. We still have some enemy infantry moving around in the area, and they still have Ivankov. Let's find out what we have in Ivankov. Just bring up the Panzer IV next to it. So they have some destroyed infantry well dug in. We expected that. I'm not going to do the attack now. Instead I'm going to clean up some of this mess over here. Yeah, just come out of that and then come up here, destroy that one. Okay. That's fine. Let's come down this way. Uh, let's get the stalk out to see what we have over here. No artillery. That's just this one here. I should try and get some counter battery fire going. Let's go over there. There's no clear path down to it. Get the artillery forward. This one will rest. Get these guys over here. Armored car down this way. These guys will go. Yeah, where will they go? That's a good question. Let's see what's going on down here. Okay, let's finish off this one. Now, do we dare to do this? That's a good question. Yeah, let's try. I think we gotta get the tiger out of the woods, otherwise it will never regain its organization. Um, let's get over to the other side here. Let's use our non-core unit to start working on this guy. Hmm. Let's come back here. Okay. So, fast off is the uh, next target. Let's get some artillery closer. Hmm. This is a pretty good shot. Let's do it. Alright, so what we see here is uh, another enemy artillery just revealed. I had not actually seen that. So I think we're just gonna go brute force these Soviet heavy infantry. And that's not gonna be easy. Or we could try and take them from the side. Uh, there could be infantry in here. There's not, okay. Shall we try and move around this way? It's a bit risky. 
but I don't care. So we can just go into the river and attack the artillery from the side. Get the KV forward. Get it back to full. I'm gonna need these guys so they will replenish. Okay. These guys can follow suit. Okay, the fighters are still available. I wonder if they can do anything at all to this artillery piece. Yes, they actually did one damage. That's fine. This one will come up next turn. Okay, let's just follow here and here. Soviet turn 12 and we will be halfway through time-wise or turn-wise. So the artillery does fire and my Stuk does get cut off but they were they are leaving their entrenched position doing so. So that's actually fine. And they're trying to move their last infantry back. Just trying to stop my forces here. We can see heavy infantry in the town. And they have... Uh, they can actually make a pocket... <laughs> yeah, they are making a pocket out of my units now, in the north. And there's the heavy in the center. Okay. So, we got plenty of time to recapture Kiev. There's no rush. So we're just gonna do nothing here. Get this one back on the road. Pull these guys back. Okay. Let's get the Stuker up. Move the Marder to uh, push them out of the way. Okay. There we go. Now we are just not in range to attack the town with the artillery. Unless we use the stew. Okay, the Stuk can finish this off. So we got the town and we still have these heavies. Let's get them back on the road. Okay, down here, so the um, Stuk got surrounded. Um, this artillery will move forward. Hmm. Yeah, this is. Pull the stook out a little bit. And 
let's get some mission on fast stuff and with the artillery can reach um, so we can move in from a couple of sides here these guys can take some uh, damage start working on these guys and we can take out that um, T-34 as well push these guys out of the way we have already moved up here AT gun just move it forward We can use our non-core units to do some damage here. Now we still have all the fighters available. Let's try and do some more damage to this guy. Or maybe that one? No, it doesn't matter. It's down to eight. The stork. Let's see what we have here in Kiev. There's a plane over there, some AA guns as well. We can see two artillery pieces there and there. And they still have a plane. Okay. Yep, yeah, let's uh, go to uh, Soviet Train 13. Infantry trading points in the center. And they're trying to beat up my uh, armored car. That's not going to happen. In the north, they're moving away. They still have some infantry in the center. You can see that. Will they attack the T-34? Yes, they will. They might even also try to surround it. And they have fresh engineers arriving in the north. It's obviously not a problem unless they have some more replenishments in the center and the artillery fires causing one damage and that is a bomber it goes right into <laughs> next to my fighters P2 I guess I will just um, shoot it down Down it goes. And a straight run. And how far can the Stuka go? And come down to here. The start in the north. Uh, finish off this guy. Start moving the artillery out on the road. Go this way. Take these guys back for safety, just in case. Okay. Of course, the artillery is going to get booted. And let's make a pocket out of these while we add it. Using the Panther. Okay. We can move them in next turn, that's fine. Okay. So, what do we do up here? We can move up to here without getting hit by the enemy artillery. Hmm. Looks like we're gonna have to go this way. On the road. Spent one guy going this way so that he can secure that area. Go into the river. Uh, I just come down this way. We 
move everything forward. These guys, I'm not sure about. Let's get them back here. Okay, we still have the south, where we want to finish the heavy infantry. And yes, let's use the armored cars for that. And then go for the artillery. Force it into the river. We can reach with these guys. And then just finish it off. Um, <laughs> let's go for that enemy artillery. Where was it? It's there, okay. Yeah, it will be able to hit me soon. Let's come over this way. Let's force this artillery with another shot. Circle these guys. Oh, shoot, I can't get them. Oh, maybe with the AT gun. No, I don't think so. Okay. They'll survive for one more turn. Bring these guys up here. Still out of range. Okay. I'm gonna need this panzer, so replenish it. No rush, as I keep saying. So so we turn fourteen. Engineers in the north moving back along the road. Trying to escape the pocket in the center. Not happening. I'm retaking fast off in the coming turn. Here comes the KV-2. That hurts. And they have a fighter. Where did that come from? Anyway, it's attacking my fighters, and I will surely take it out. Let's start with that. And we can return this Falker Wolf. Keep vision on these artillery pieces. Now let's start by taking this. Fast dog retaken. Uh, so now we just need to capture Kiev. That's gonna be another problem though. Okay, let's get some artillery forward. We're gonna need it. Um, these guys will get out of the way. I can go there, but uh, the artillery will be able to shoot at me. But you know what? Let's let's do it anyway. Bring up the KV. All right. Okay, get these guys forward. Let's move in on Optikov. 
what I'm gonna do here is just simply go into the trench, uh, the river, come up on the other side and attack that artillery piece there. Meanwhile, everybody will move around. Uh, we'll see what they have here. Soviet infantry, obviously. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, get this forward. Um, let's use these guys as a bait. Moving into the river. Taking out these guys. And the KV might attack them. Which is preferable. And we need to clear this pocket. So let's take out these guys. Take out these guys. Oh, they're still alive. What do we have? We have the... T-34. Let's take him out. Okay, so we can bring up the Panther. <clears throat> and the Tiger. Heavy stuff. Bring the artillery forward. The Nash Horn. Of course, the... Stuka. Let's bring it into action. Uh, far north. These guys will get reorganized. Um, replenish these guys in place and these guys. So they will hold that flank. Move this one up. This artillery piece is actually not in range of this AA gun. Um, so I could use my Stuka to just take it down a notch. So meanwhile, let's get some of the armor forward. We could use the AT gun as a bait. And just place it here. That actually re reveal an enemy unit. So let's take it out. I couldn't, okay. Um, bring these guys forward. Get some more armor on the other side. Oh, this is uh, <laughs> this is a kind of a bottleneck we have going here. I come over this way, this way, this way. Something like this. Okay. Nice, let's go to turn 15 Soviet. The artillery opens up. One damage. Also the other artillery. Two damage. Let's see what the KV-2 does. KB2 moves down and takes the bait. No, it doesn't shoot at all. Okay. That's interesting. Let's get vision on that artillery piece. And the other one. And then the bomber will go for that one. First damage. No artillery is in range over here. Let's get it get it closer. Also this one. Get into the ditch. Move over there. Now let's see how do we do this. Get this forward. Protect the flanks. Ah, uh, let's see. Pan Panther, Panther... Hmm. K-1 
keep firing on that KV. Okay. Bring the Panther forward. And the Tiger. Let's get some artillery up. Uh, just finish off that one. The AT gun is my bait. Uh, let's get the artillery over. I don't know. It's going really slowly here. Uh, move these guys forward. Come back with these guys. Could surround the uh, KV. It's not a bad idea. Let's finish it off. Okay, we have some infantry. I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's get it around this way. Down this way. Half track is bait. We can put it forward. We got vision on some enemy units over there. That's fine. Okay, fighters. Let's do some extra stray running up here. Still out of range of the AA gun. Land this one. I don't think we're going to see more enemy planes at this point. Um, got this one, move it over there. This is going to get a little bit crowded. But as soon as we get the artillery up, I can start pounding my way through Kiev suburbs. Soviet turn 16. Artillery fires at the Stuk, and one of the infantry units leaves its uh, fortified position and attacks the bait, which is the armored car. Another one does the same. That's perfect. It's much easier when they're not dug in like that. The armored car retreats, and they move in another unit out of its position. We still have the heavy infantry in Kiev itself which is still well dug in, and we have some more infantry on the other side of the river attacking the Stuk, which means it's probably going to have to pull back. Which means the artillery will keep pounding me. Well, let's start by attacking the other artillery. And I think we have to start sending the aircraft back. There's no airfield over here that I can use. Unfortunately, that's on the other side. So they're going to have to go back. Okay. Okay, let's get the artillery up to here. 
Uh, so how are we going to deal with these guys? That's a good question. Let's see, artillery in the south is still not in range. Let's get it closer. It's incredibly slow to move around here. Get these guys out. Come back down this way. Connect up here. Okay. How do we do this? We know there are units in Kiev itself. Uh, let's get some vision on them, shall we? Let's get the tiger. I'll get the panther in here and the tiger in here. Take that shot. Start working on this one. We're gonna need some infantry in there as well, so let's send some non core units in. Uh, over here, we got the heavy infantry. Let's send that forward. Answer four. Bring the T thirty four up here and replenish. <clears throat> Get the artillery closer. Uh, shouldn't I have one more artillery somewhere? No, maybe not. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna get hit again by the artillery over here. They might fire at me here as well. We'll see. Turn 17. Okay. My panther gets hit. AA gun moves in for a hit on the stalk. I guess that's okay. The enemy infantry moves back over there. The T-34 gets hit one damage. And the artillery decides to fire on my infantry and on my own artillery over there. Okay. Keep hitting that. Let's bring the fighters back. No further use. So how much artillery do I actually have in range? This one, but it's yellow. This one is also yellow. We have the stew. Let's see what we have behind there. Yep, that is a 57 millimeter, which we are going to have to take a shot on. Get this one out of the way. Taking it down to seven will mean Let's force some artillery as fire here. And the tiger. Go in. And also the Panzer IV. And then we can move in with some heavy infantry and take Kiev. Berlin has radioed in congratulations for retaking Kiev. Take a shot on the AT gun. Bring that out. And then bring the panther across. Start working on these guys. Finish off these guys here. And we still have a stook that hasn't moved, but let's just get it down here. And the KV. 
let's start. So we're going this one. Bring the KB down. And we cannot finish it though. Well, if we move the stoop back out, we could. I'm not willing to uh, lose points on that though. They can stay alive for a while. And let's continue. Soviet turn 18. I think we got them broken up now. I will take minimum losses from here on out. There is that artillery piece. It looks like they're trying to protect it. That will do some damage, of course. And they have that one fresh infantry as well. I forgot to move the stalk out, though. The artillery fires on my infantry and on my artillery. That's annoying, to say the least. Because it ensures a few more losses for me that I don't really need to take. Uh, where are they going? I'll finish them off. Finish them off, okay. Um, okay, let's get this out of the way. There's no need to. Ah, I couldn't even get it out of the way. Okay, so how do we finish up this thing? Let's get the stuck up on the other side. Gotta get these guys out of the way. Mm, okay, let's move them up as well. Get the tiger over here. Get these guys out of the way. Um, and I can't really get any more shots in. Get the artillery a little bit closer. I don't know if we can actually get them into another firing position before the end of the game. Uh, let's just take the next turn. Artillery will do one last shot. The AT gun is back to seven. It's got to be aware of that. Oh, I don't even have to finish this. Major victory. The Soviet offensive has been destroyed and all territorial losses have been recovered, including the city of Kiev. Okay. So let's consult the specialization points. We have 16. And we do have access to the Waffen SS, which will give me six ground CP for the Waffen SS faction and five RPs per turn. So let's do that. Extra buff in SS. Next up will be Novgorod. I hope you will join me for that one as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you around. Take care, bye bye.